Hi there, Taurus. How are you guys doing? I really hope that this video finds you well. Welcome to your reading. Back with me again, Anissa from the Inner Stereo. So this is going to be a general reading. The rules might get reversed or it may or may not resonate with you guys. Don't forget to check your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. If you want a personal reading, there's going to be a link on the description box below. If there's any comment pretending to be me asking you guys to, you know, email them or WhatsApp them or whatsoever, it's not me, all right? Um, a lot of tarot readers have been going through the same thing with like a lot of scammers kind of like um, spam in our comment section. And I don't want to turn off my comment because I like hearing feedbacks, all right? So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be pulling cards like who are we going to be talking about? What is the challenge of this relationship? Past, present, future? What actions can we be expecting from the menu? And also the advice card, all right? So let's go. Tell me, who is it that we're going to be talking about today for Taurus? Who is it that we're going to be talking about today? Four of Pentacles, so you might be dealing with another fellow Earth sign like yours, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, but I feel that the person that you're dealing with right now is kind of like withdrawing their resources. Six of Cups, even though they kind of like acknowledge that this relationship or this connections between you and them is something special, but I don't know why for some reason this person is just kind of like withdrawing, especially with the Ace of Swords in reverse in here. They're clearly not communicating something here. I think they're trying to kind of like find reasons or find answers by themselves without being very communicative with you guys. So even though there's a connection right there, I feel that something kind of like triggers their insecurities up to a point that they feel that, whoa, 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 I think I'm putting way too much F um, energy into this relationship. I feel that I'm putting my feelings or emotions on the line here. I think I need to put through back a little bit. So what are the challenges of this relationship, please? <clears throat> Eight of Pentacles and also the Star card. So. You might be dealing with an Aquarius too. So there is a lack of um, effort. There is a lack of consistencies and persistency in the relationship. And then there's a lack of wish fulfillment. Like one person is kind of like expecting something out of this relationship, but that expectations is not coming to fruition. I don't know, but for some reason, I feel that one of you, it's either you or them, it's just kind of like wanting things to figure out on its own without doing anything. You know what I mean? It's like, you want something or they want something to just kind of like magically happens without them needing to do something about it and then when it doesn't happen they get disappointed by it like oh i didn't get my wish fulfillment something like that so let's see how their energy are in the past <clears throat> from their side please queen of pentacles seven of pentacles in reverse so this person really sees you as a potential, really sees you as somebody who they can commit to in a long term, somebody who, you know, they could be with. But the thing is that they feel that they kind of like waited on you for quite a while. And then in the past, they were like, you know what, like, I don't think I'm going to be waiting around forever. I don't think I'm going to be waiting around for, wait, I don't think I'm going to be waiting around for a Taurus for forever. You got the Sherry card in reverse in here. It kind of like indicates that in the past, things were either moving to a halt, like there was like a stop into a situation, or things was just not progressing forward. But yeah, they just decided not to kind of like wait any longer and just kind of like focus on their coins or focus on their money instead. So all of the energy that they use to kind of like put on you, they kind of like put it on somewhere else, whether it be work, whether it be, you know, someone else, you know, it's a general reading. So no one size fit up for all. So how about from Taurus in the past? You got the emperor. You also have the high priestess. So yeah, you kind of like were acting a bit secretive, I guess, like you were in very communicative with how you feel and how you see the situations and what you want and what your desires are even though you kind of like feel that you want it to be putting your foot down but like the energy that you're giving off towards them is the high priestess so you just want to observe first like i want to see what this person is going to do so that's that's kind of like your energy i'm going to see i'm just going to see I'm going to wait and see. I'm going to observe what this person is going to do. So you had two people waiting for each other to do something. They were waiting. You guys were waiting. And then they kind of like are um, a little bit distracted with other things in their life. So they didn't wait again in the past. So let's see what's going on in the now. 
from their side. <clears throat> I think in the past, you know, one of the reasons why you chose that observing stance was because you're trying to make a point. So in the now from their side, please. Ten of Swords, yeah, they're hurt. They're absolutely hurt. And now, again, similar to how their energy was in the past, they're kind of like um, focusing their energy more into their money, more into their work, more into their pentacles, more into their independence. You would see them probably doing, um, yeah, what's hidden, what, what they're hiding from you is the Six of Wands. So they're not really feeling very, very victorious about the situations. Whatever happened between you and them really took a toll on their self-esteem that they needed to kind of like distract and switch their focus to more material things, more mundane and worldly things, just so that it could lift or increase their self-esteem back up again. You probably would see them or like if you're cross watchers and you're dealing with this, yeah, be careful of overindulging because that's kind of like the usually when the six of wands is being paired with the nine of pentacles is kind of like looks like someone's purse is going to break you know what i mean so yeah careful about that so what actions can we be expecting from this person in the now so when i said in the now it could probably already happen or it's probably going to happen really really soon all right so what energy can we be expecting from this person in the now Eight of swords, nine of swords, and also the ten of cups. So um, you're dealing with somebody who does like to mask their emotions. So even though they feel stressed with the situations between you and them, um, there is like a lot of anxiety surrounds it. There's a lot of angst that they're feeling, yes. But then they're like the ten of cups. They're pretending like this doesn't exist. How about from Taurus side, please, in the now? Page of Pentacles, you have a severe trust issues when it comes to this person, though. But you like to find out what is up with them, one way or the other. Whether it be you're observing their social medias, or you're asking a mutual friends, or you kind of like, like it when a mutual friends of yours kind of like relay how this person is up to, or maybe you're kind of like, you know, observing them through tarot readings or something like that, but you kind of like like hearing what's up with them but indirectly okay because right now this person is just kind of like focusing on their money so the only way you're getting that is kind of like indirectly what you're not telling was hidden is the king of swords so you already have opinions when it comes to this person if they were to come back around if they were to make things right between you and them they would have to face this sword so you have so based off of your observation you do kind of like already created an opinion about this person that if they want to work it out, it's like they would need to answer this source. They would need to answer all of these questions, clarify it one by one so that they could gain your trust again. Because obviously in the now, you don't trust them. You're the page of pentacles. Like I think the image speaks for itself, right? Like how this page is clearly looking at that object, whatever it is, like with highly skeptical like i have this beautiful pentacles in my arms and i'm not really sure if i should trust you with this if you should come closer towards my treasure or something like that so i love this page of pentacles because it really does shows that you guys think highly of yourself okay so i'm not worried about you having a low self-esteem i'm not worried about you guys having a low self-value and everything like that because that's exactly what the page of pentacles is they know their value they know that they bring so much to the table that's why every time there's a strangers or people who just can't seem to be trusted wanted to go nearby they're like i have something here you know like it's not that <laughs> it's not that i'm going to be free riding in your life i have something here that i'm offering so I need to make sure that you're safe from me or not. So I like this energy of yours, to be honest. So what actions can we be expecting from Taurus in the now? <clears throat> Four of Wands. Three of Swords. Yeah. I mean, you kind of like still believe in this connection, Taurus. This is very indirect and passive things going on here between you and them. It's like every time you sense, because 
I don't know why, but like with that high priestess and then the six of cups in there, I feel that you guys are kind of like quite telepathically connected with one another. You know when they're down and you know when they're happy. Intuitive wise. But then again, you choose to see what your eyes can see. So when your intuition is telling you that this person is stressing out about you and this person is kind of like all in their head thinking about you and having their angst and everything like that, you guys are happy, all right? But then when they're, again, because you're dealing with somebody who is masking it, but you're dealing with somebody who is never going to show you that they're in this state. So when they do that, so when they mask it, so when they kind of like pretend with the Ten of Cups that everything is happy, you know, their life is fine and everything like that, that's when you get your hurt, okay? So that's the first scenario. So if you have been dealing with somebody who, you know, you're having a relationship but has always been indirect, that's the deal. But if you're dealing with somebody who, who your interaction with them has always been direct, has always been up to front, it means that... The actions that you could be expecting to know from this person is that this person is going to try for the one last try telling you guys that, you know, they misses you, they're crazy about you, they want to make things right. You know, the situations between you and them hasn't, hasn't completely been making them feel good about themselves and everything like that. And you guys are going to be rejoicing like, wow, like finally I hear this from you. Like, wow, finally... Um, this is what I've been waiting, actually an apology or just a confession. Just that vulnerability, something that you've been, or ownership, I should say, something that you've been waiting on. Like you're going to be rejoicing by it. But then, funny enough, I don't know why you guys have the three swords. I mean, if, okay, let's see what's the three swords means. <laughs> all right okay so if you're dealing with a direct person because we have two scenarios here if you're dealing with a direct person you're going to be rejoicing right with this person confessing or apologizing or any doing anything to you but you wouldn't be too happy about it because because once you guys talk it's like a burden has been lifted off their chest right all of those bottle up emotions has come out And they get awkward. You're kind of like in an awkward situation right now. Okay? Then they're going to get awkward. So what am I supposed to do now with Taurus? Should I approach first or should I not approach first? Should I? So they became hypersensitive with everything. Whereas you guys are like, well, we've talked this through. we sort this out. Like, why can't we just put in the work, be consistent and persistent about it. Like, why are you hesitating? So you're going to be, f you will think that they're playing games. Or maybe they're having like a little bit of a cold feet. But the, the truth of the matter is, if you're dealing with a direct person, this person is just awkward. Like they don't know. Okay, so now what am I going to do? <laughs> I've already done it. I've already apologized. I've already, you know, come to Taurus. They're happy. So then what's next? What's after this? I think that's kind of like one of their weaknesses too, to, to move to, through the hump, you know, from that great area. So let's see what's going to happen in the future. From their side, please. Nine of Wands, Empress, but they're not telling us the Ace of Wands. They're dying for a breath of fresh air. They're dying for something new. They're dying for the fun aspect of the relationship to be real life again. So what actions can we be expecting from this person? Three of Pentacles, 
Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This is a very on and off hot and cold energy um, from Aries, uh, from Taurus. Why did I say Aries? Maybe you're dealing with Aries. All right, what you guys are telling the world? What actions can we be expecting from you guys? Page of Wands. Knight of Cups, Two of Pentacles, and Reverse. Well, that's interesting. So, look at it, because you have three cards. One more, one more, one more. Okay. It's still going to be awkward, though. I mean, you still have the Page of Swords in here. Both of you are just not trusting one another, and you will still have the tendency to be very detailed oriented so it's like everything that they say you kind of like record it in your memory everything that they do you record it in their your memory their expression everything like you record it in your memory and so do they they do the same thing But you will have your conclusion by the end of the month, though. You have the world card here. So what's going to end up happening is that, you know, this person is just awkward around you. Like, they just don't know what to do again with the situations. Again, I, I told you, right? Like, after they do something, and then to maintain it is their weakness. Because for them, you know reaching out to you, apologizing, taking ownership, coming to you, coming forward, confessing to you was like a, a giant big step for them that it requires a lot of their energy. And then after they did that, it's like, Ugh, I'm so tired. I don't know what to do. You know, something like that. <laughs> so in the future, still, you will have this person trying again and then you will hear and you will love the sound of that music you will love the sound of you know them trying to make things right with you them trying to make things work with you they want to collaborate with you you will start to see some shifting you will start to see that wow well, like i think this person has changed because the three pentacles in this particular deck of mine has this aura of a teacher trying to teach his pupil right like this person is really trying to teach you that they've changed and everything like that and you're going to liking the sound of that but again you know knight of pentacles and reverse so there's going to be like a little bit of a lack of consistencies and persistencies so there's still going to be like a very hot and cold on and off type of situations between you and them because again i told you i told you the reason why but i feel that in the future you guys are pretty used to it i should say like because you're going to be rejoicing you have a knight of cups here you really really want to share your love with this person it really does make you feel victorious it really does make you feel like you want to swim in the ocean swim in the water and just kind of like enjoy the emotions that you guys both share with one another especially with this eight of wands and here the conversations might turn sexual or it might turn very fun traveling might be involved in here too um i think you guys in the future are no longer gonna be wishy-washy are no longer gonna be indecisive about this person and you're gonna make a decisions about this person whether you're gonna be with this person or not One thing that I need to say, though, that because this connection is very deep and profound in your life, it will trigger some things. So when this person is a bit off or like a little bit cold, they're backing away because of fear, not because of anything. Because of fear, they don't know what to do with it. And they somehow is very, very afraid of your rejection as well. You're going to get hurt, right? Like when they back away, like, oh, again? Like, I was expecting you to be consistent. I was expecting you to be persistent. But then you're backing off again. You're being cold again. The reason is they're just scared. 
But there is just this crazy push and pull going on between you both of you. So one person goes in and then you do the next thing, like something like that. Because when they're receiving energy, then that's when you guys are given. So I feel that by the end of May, you will have your conclusion whether you want to be with this person or not. Even though there is like still like tons and tons of trust issues going on in here. But I feel that you guys are going to be deciding. Still so much but of emotions though. Like that thing needs to be cleared. Maybe it's going to be on June. If you want to fast it forward, it's okay. But I think it's going to be on June problem. Those bottle up emotions. <laughs> All right. So let's pull some advice care for you guys. Advice for Taurus, please. Oops. Two of Wands. Ten of Wands. Five of Swords. Seven of Wands. All right. Whoa, that's pretty harsh energy, isn't it? Well, the thing is that I think you guys need to set some timeline for yourself because obviously this has been taking quite some time, all right? from your side and also from their side as well. You need to take a good look in your life and see exactly. And this applies to general, all right? It could be about your work. It could be about your friends and families. It could be about this relationship in particular. But you need to see exactly in which areas of your life and which people specifically has been causing you this much of a burden, who has been a debilitating factor in your life. Who has been anchoring you down who has been wet blanketing you like you need to start seeing things in a bigger perspective and see you know who has been causing this what has been causing this is it your job do you need a change of routines or anything like that because you've been feeling like this for quite a while taurus especially uranus is in taurus like there is this need of breaking free right Take a good look on your life and see what has been causing this feeling because, and then let it go, cut it off, whatever that is. I think there's two things in your life that you need to let go of. Yeah, two. It could be a person, it could be a job, it could be a habit, a bad habit that has been causing you this, health problems or I don't know what, but something needs to be eliminated from your life. Two things needs to be eliminated in your life and you have to think about it. All right. So May is going to be about eliminations and spring cleaning time of the year. All right. So I think that is it for my reading for you, um, Taurus. I hope that you find tons and tons of clarity you've been looking for. And I'll see you guys next week for your weekly reading. All right. Bye guys. Have a great day. I love you.